Hey everybody, it's Mark with the Crystal Chronicles here to City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia podcast here with another poll video. Before we get into that, make sure to check us out every Thursday night live on Twitch at the Crystal Chronicles, 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time for all your Defo news and talk. Mino and myself bringing that to you weekly, sharing that on YouTube and your favorite podcast app. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to follow us on Twitch at the Crystal Chronicles, follow us there and give us a sub. We appreciate your support. Going for Agrius from Final Fantasy Tactics. I have all of her gear except for her LD. I don't have Theodore's EX or LD. I have Yuna's BT, 95,000 gems. So here we go. Gold orb, looking good. Can we get it easy? Here we go. Hope you got it. Let me know how you did. No spoilers in the comments. Uh, so leave a fake spoiler and I'll know you're watching. <laughs> Oh, nice, Cedar EX. <laughs> okay, uh, make those fake spoilers real good. Yeah, uh, there we go. Good. So ten tickets. Uh, that's perfect. I, that's just right how I like to spend my tickets. That's uh, that's much earlier than <laughs> any reason. Even with my luck, that's pretty. Even with my luck, that's pretty ridiculous. Ten tickets. I'll take it though. After 95,000 gems, tickets are reminding me that they are my first love. So, hey, uh, I'm going to share my run here, not because it's good, because it's not. Um, if you're struggling with this, here's just the easiest team to use uh, at 100%. But I, I wanted to make the video a little longer just to, to mess with people. But also, I uh, figured I'd use this as an opportunity to talk a little bit about my approach. And I want to do some other videos, too. I, I just... I'm busy. I have a family. I have a life. This is something I do for fun, and I just don't have a lot of extra time to make extra videos. But I do have a few in my uh, kind of in my back pocket that I would like to do that are a little bit fun. So uh, I brought uh, Yuna, Agrius, and Warrior of Light. Warrior of Light shuts down most of the fight. Agrius uh, can shut down kind of the last phase pretty decently, so you don't have to worry about the big recast. Uh, Yuna's just doing what Yuna does. Uh, I brought Sephiroth here because I, I didn't have a, a other friend solution, but you have to be careful, obviously, because in the second phase, you, uh, you get into that phase where they can't be... Uh, their turn order cannot be moved back even with break rebreak. So, uh, you know, I, you end up not really using it. It helps, you know, it's not a bad thing to do, uh, cause it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, so, so it's not terrible, but probably not the best option either. Uh, I had to redo this. This is my second try because the first time I brought a Tifa friend for the first phase, just to beat it down quickly. And, uh, Tifa, the Tifa friend took these off turn hits. <laughs> <laughs> and ended up dying. Well, didn't end up dying, but uh, ended up taking a lot of damage. So you see, a uh, warrior fight took a big freaking hit there. Uh, so yeah, Tifa took uh, more damage than I was allowed in my uh, damage cap there. So, uh, but anyway, I, I you know uh, I I wasn't even paying attention when I was playing this fight, so I did not play very well. So don't don't watch this to learn because uh, it's a mess uh, of a run. Because my my kids are getting ready for school. I'm doing it. It's like you know, six o'clock in the morning, uh, you know, I'm trying to get my kids ready. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just a, just a big fat mess. So, um, oh no, this was, this was on a holiday. So, uh, or on a weekend, I guess. So I'm just trying to keep the kids quiet and they were being ridiculous as their mother and sister were sleeping, my boys. So anyway, what, what I want to talk about, if you've, li if you stayed this long, thank you. You're in for a treat. No, I, you know, I just, I'm glad you're, you're hanging out. What I want to talk about is, uh, you know, how I approach the game, because uh, I know there's been a lot of uh, doom posts. There's been some, oh, you know, anger posts, rage posts, rage, and there always is. Uh, this game's three and a half years old, believe me, from uh, the first month to now. There's always been those posts. There always will be. Uh, people don't know how to leave gracefully. And that's, that's just part of life. People don't know how to step away from things and relationships. Uh, you know, in my business, leave the church gracefully. Uh, and sometimes things end. Relationships end. Uh, the, the connection I have to a community or group ends. And so 
you you need to learn how to step away. If if you're done with the game, that's okay. You don't have to like the game. Um, learn how to step away gracefully. Don't stick around and, and spew venom and, and and be you know. If there's criticism, great. <clears throat> there's there's always room for criticism. Always room to let the devs know what's going on. But I think a lot of it has to do with how people approach the game. So for me, you know, here's my my ideology about Defo. I approach this game as a character collector. I am a Final Fantasy fan. I have played, I think, all of the mainline uh, Final Fantasy games besides 11, now that I've played 14. Um, I've played a lot of the, the spin-off games. Obviously, I've played the Dissidia games. I've played all the mobile games uh, in Final Fantasy lore. And I love the characters. And so this is a character collector. Uh, and I've figured out kind of how to both... Uh, you know, make enough money to spend enough money and also save enough resources to allocate that I can be able to collect many new characters, new weapons every single month so that I'm not bored on the collection. And this game really allows me to upgrade all those characters very, very easily, especially since I've been playing long enough that that's not an issue. So it's not like, oh, I only get to up fully upgrade one new character a month. Yeah, you can argue Blue Armor, you can argue BT Plus when we get there, that that's gonna be more limited. But for the most part, you know, when it comes to weapons, levels, all that kind of stuff, easily to upgrade all those characters, uh, not much of a problem. And right now you don't need the Blue Armor. BT Plus is a different situation. We'll get to there when we get to there. And so what I'm looking for in terms of content, so this is a character collector. I want to collect the characters. I want to get their gear and I want content that allows me to use them. And so I'm not a person who's looking to use, I mean, Warrior of Light's been around, but you just got a little retune. I'm not a person who's looking to use my favorite character forever. I'm not a person who's looking to use one great meta team forever. Um, if, if, if I wanted to just get a team of three, you know, let's say this, this magical meta team, whatever it is. And I want to use that team for six months. You know, the RNA era, those of you who played in the RNA era, you know, get RNA and two other people and run through content for six months or nine months. Um, you know, that's kind of boring to me. And that may be fine to you. Uh, and um, that's okay. Again, we all can play the game however you want. I'm just telling you how I approach the game. And so for me, that would be kind of boring. Uh, just to use the same characters over and over again, even favorites. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not a saga person. I don't want to run Squall Saga or, or uh, uh, Renoa Saga or Kista Saga. I mean, uh, Yuna Saga, I mean, favorite characters of mine. So uh, I want to get the new toy and I want to use the new toy. And so I want content that highlights what the new toy does. And so, you know, the basis of this game is here's a banner, here's an event, the events tailored generally, not always, to the newest weapon, the newest character. Now in the LC era, that's the new LD, not the, the old LD, right? Uh, and so that's, that's what I want. That's how I approach the game. And so I've never really had an issue with the content because the content is tailored to what I want it to be. Uh, the content is, the game is, is tailored for me to collect resources, get characters, build those characters up, and use them in content that's tailored to them. Uh, and yes, you can use them a while afterwards and moving forward into Lufania Plus after we get into the first couple months, you're going to be able to use your favorites and whoever you want for quite some time. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to want to pull new characters. I'm still going to want to, you know, uh, bring different teams, teams that are best suited as opposed to just my favorite characters. Um, and try to get as many as I as possible. You know, I don't have every character. Uh, I mean, I have every character, so do you, but likely. I don't have every LD, I don't have every EX, I don't have every BT, uh, but I have the majority, of the vast majority of them. Uh, and I want to continue that so that I have more options, more more opportunities to use more and different characters uh, to, uh, you know, experience different kits and different styles of play, as opposed to focusing on one or two styles of play. There are some of you who are, man, you're just really good at one or two, um, you know, you kind of a master of one kind of skill set or uh, one kit set. And so you're, you've become really good at that. Uh, and again, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm, I, I would like to use uh, kind of the the full breadth and width of 
uh, the characters that they offer and hopefully offer new characters with new designs, with new kits, with new mechanics so that we can continue to explore. And so, you know, I understand the frustrations. Some of them are just, um, some of them are just ridiculous. There's some, some of the videos and some of the complaints that are just terrible. Um, there are some of the folks, you know, there, there are some folks, even content creators who have been hanging on way too long and just need to quit because they don't like the game. I've been there. I've talked about that. Uh, Pierre and I went through that with Record Keeper, Final Fantasy Record Keeper. We did a podcast for that. That was the origin, the origin of the Crystal Chronicles. Pierre basically ran the database for Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, and so we felt a commitment to the game. We felt um, responsible for the game, the community, but it, we weren't enjoying it. Uh, and it wasn't anything against the game. It just it had run its course for us. Uh, and, and it wasn't anything that we were excited about. And so when that's your mindset, you don't need to be making content. You need to step away. Play the game still, sure. But at the end of the day, it's better for your health and the health of the community to step away uh, from the game. To do something else. Uh, to, you know, just, just to experience uh, a different thing. Uh, and even I, I mean, I play different games, right? Uh, from time to time, I don't play a lot because I don't have a lot of time. But uh, I'm not expecting anymore. I'm not expecting this to be like, a, you know, a 40 hour a week game. Uh, I'm more than happy to play this for 10 to 15 minutes a day on days that uh, content is not dropping. And that's OK. I don't expect anything more. And so there's some of that. There, there's there's some people that just need to step away because they're done with the game and they just can't. They just can't be done with the game yet and, and they just really need to be and there's some people that just clickbait terrible arguments that you know they get and, and they not self-aware there's some people that just are not self-aware um and they don't realize why they're frustrated uh because this that or the other thing uh, and again there are some valid complaints uh you know we've been talking a lot in one of our discord channels about you know the the in-game text and boss text not being very clear uh, and not communicating consistently from from one boss to another again it's not something that i'm i, I very rarely read the in-game text you know I, I might come back to it time and time again but um i, I very rarely like read into it and, and i certainly don't look at it from from grouping to grouping from boss to boss uh and i also remember you know playing most of these games and not knowing what the boss did and sometimes having to ta tackle a boss fight several times to kind of understand what the mechanics were, what the rotations were, what, what everything is, and realizing that sometimes there were RNG elements that could blow a run. And it's with regular Final Fantasy games, let alone actual, you know, um, difficult games. Final Fantasy games tend not to be particularly difficult uh, in terms of other video games. So we're talking about Mega Man the same way, playing the Mega Man uh uh, gotcha game and no idea what the, there's like nothing that tells you what the bosses do record keeper was the same way there was no in-game notice no 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 telling you whatsoever uh initially now they they changed that eventually uh and i and, and it doesn't upset me that they they you know i i think that the valid argument is you know if they're going to have boss mechanics and in-game notices about what the boss does they need to be consistent from boss to boss i think that's a fair di uh, a, a fair critique um the triple ld banner was garbage there shouldn't be anything like that i think that's a fair critique um you know uh, we've we've mentioned that some of the translations have kind of been a little sloppy i think that's a fair critique uh and so we you know it's not anything that i'm going to quit the game over any of those things but uh, those are things you say, hey, Square, you know, hey, what's going on with this? You're getting a little sloppy. Uh, or, hey, this this mechanic, Kadash, was a big one, right? This isn't working right. We know it's not working right. Can you please acknowledge this and fix this? And they did eventually. They got around to it. So, um, you know, that as paying customers to a product, I think we have the right to do that. Uh, but when your complaints are things that have been going on for three and a half years, uh, the, the mechanics of the game, the, the structure of the game, the fact that the game is gotcha. And <laughs> like, I've, I mean, I've seen that online, you know, uh, you know, this game is a gotcha game and, and the, the very nature of gotcha games are predatory and problematic. And so, um, you know, please really, really do, uh, understand that if you want to do it. So, um, 
but yeah, I mean, I, I, and I'm going to try to have some more kind of fun, shorter videos, but I, I figured I would just talk through this, not really a commentary, because uh, you don't want to listen to, you don't want to watch what I'm doing, because I'm, I'm not paying attention to the yellow or the purple phase, uh, you know, when they brave resist when he yeah i i i'm not i'm you know yelling at my kids to be quiet and um i'm not yelling at them but uh trying to corral them and <laughs> early in the morning uh whenever that was and uh so i constantly distracted here uh, as i'm doing this so not not the best run in the world but obviously if you're having trouble this very safe team yuna agrius and warrior of light although warrior of light agrius um, very safe team. Warrior of Light pretty much makes it a safe, safe team regardless. But uh, let me know. You know, let me know how you approach the game, uh, where you are with it. And again, I'm going to try to have some more content, some more videos about what I do like about the game because there's a lot that I like about this game. I am excited about the next era. Uh, I'm excited about some of the BS fights that we're going to have that we're going to need to pull Sid Reigns for, who I love Sid Reigns, uh, from the record keeper days. It's it's not a meme. Uh, we Sid Reigns was a huge, huge powerhouse in the early record keeper era, uh, uh, the early era of the record keeper game, because he brought a whole bunch of buffs to the party all at once. And so uh, we made all kinds of memes about Sid Reigns. And so Sid Reigns has uh, become kind of a meme favorite. So uh, I, I am excited about using him, and I am excited that he's stupid <laughs> and broken here and in Depot too. Even though he, obviously he's not a favorite character, because no one no one likes Sid Reigns. Uh, he was <coughs> he was always one of those weird characters, right? Final Fantasy thirteen. Uh, none of the thirteen cast are in my favorites, uh, in my top twenty favorites. So that should tell you something. Uh, yeah, here watch watch Agrius just shut down the last part of the fight <laughs> as I desperately tried to kill the bots. Um, She's good at that, though. I like her. She is. I like her play style. I always have. But yeah, uh, let me know where you are, and uh, we'll share We'll share some of those things. I also have some ideas for some fun videos if I ever have the time to do them, which uh, is not looking good given my current schedule. But I uh, wanted to try to get this one out here. Let me know how your polls went. Again, uh, share if you're listening this long. Thank you. Hey, thanks for sticking out. Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time will be our next episode. 167 of the Crystal Chronicles. Mino and I will break the Shinryu Raid Lufania Plus kind of fight down. And we will also uh, talk about Agrius. And I think we're going to talk about Yuffie and Root's Lost Chapter. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Join us live on Twitch. We'll share it right here. We may even have a post show like we did last week. Check those out, episode 166 and the post show. Check out my tier list for all of September. That is on as well. And uh, we'll see you next time, friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.